in some countries, it's considered a compliment. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Redivis RT29 High Power Military Grade handheld radio. Redivis asked me if I was interested in reviewing this radio, and I saw that it was high power and waterproof, and I thought, yeah. So they sent me two of them to test so that I could show you my favorite viewer. The Redivis RT29 comes in a set of two. It costs about $150. Affiliate link below. You can use that link to see what the current price is. It does change from time to time. It comes in a set of two so that you and your friend can talk to each other in the event of an emergency. And full disclosure, they did send me these radios free of charge in return for this video review. Now, some people, some people will say that this radio is just cheap Chinese junk. Just ignore the trolls. They're just angry because they paid five times more for a radio that does almost the same thing and probably isn't even waterproof. Now, if you watched any of my previous videos, you know that I normally review only GMRS or FRS radios, and the Redivis RT29 is not a GMRS or an FRS radio. It is a FCC Part 97 ham type radio. You need a ham license or the proper commercial license to operate it, except in the event of an emergency. So allow me to read what the FCC says about operating a radio in an emergency. FCC rules part 97403, safety of life and protection of property. No provision of these rules prevents the use by an amateur station of any means of radio communications at its disposal to provide essential communication needs in connection with the immediate safety of li human life and immediate protection of property when normal communication systems are not available. FCC Rules Part 97.405 Station in Distress Part A No provision of these rules prevents the use by an amateur station in distress of any means at its disposal to attract attention, make known its condition and location, and obtain assistance. Part B no provision of these rules prevents the use by a station in the exceptional circumstances described in paragraph A, that's the one I just read, of this section, of any means of radio communications at its disposal to assist a station in distress. Now, I'm not going to interpret that. I am not a lawyer. I'm not a judge. I'm going to leave all of the expert interpretations of those rules up to the real legal experts and the real legal scholars that will no doubt be posting comments in the comment section below. So when you buy the Redivis RT29 military grade high power UHF or VHF radio in the box, you will receive a user guide. And this is probably the worst written user guide I have ever seen. Redivis, invest a hundred bucks, pay somebody to go through and proofread this in English? Allow me to read an excerpt from the user guide. Do not throw the battery into microwave oven and high pressure container. Prevent the break as well as liquid spilling battery from fire. If the battery is spilling or exuding smelly smell, put it away from inflammable area. The electrolyte spilling from the battery is easy to catch fire and will cause battery smokes or burst into fire suddenly. This isn't even good for Chinglish. Redivis, come on. Luckily, this radio is so good, you're not even going to care what the manual says. You will receive a charger. This is not a smart charger. Standard basic charger. A little bit lightweight, a little bit plasticky. You will receive a plug-in adapter, which plugs into the charger, thusly providing electrical energy to the battery, which goes here. The battery which you will also receive, is quite large. It is 3,200 milliamp hours. It is a substantial battery. In all of my testing over several days with the radios, the battery never wore down. Very good, long-lasting battery. You will receive an antenna tuned for whichever version of the radio you buy. The radio comes in two versions, a UHF and a VHF version. I got the VHF version, so this antenna is tuned for the 400 to 480 megahertz range. You will receive a belt clip, which is heavier and 
Bigger and stronger than the average cheapo belt clip that comes with the average cheapo radio. It's a little bit more stout, quite a bit more stout. You will receive this handsome wrist strap for affixing the radio to your wrist. You'll get this uh, earpiece and uh, microphone set up, which is a little bit heavier duty feeling than the cheapo ones that come with the cheaper radios. Push the talk button here. Because it's a waterproof radio, it uses these different types of connectors. Does need to screw in to maintain the waterproofness. It's got its own screw. And you will receive the radio itself. The Retivis RT29 handheld 10 watt waterproof walkie talkie. It works like any other handheld radio. It's got an SMA male. The antenna comes with an SMA female. It's got a power on and off knob. It has 16 channels. Push to talk button, two programmable buttons, and the waterproof jack for connecting the earpiece or your programming cable. So some of the features of this radio that make it a highly desirable radio it comes in two versions, UHF and VHF, as I mentioned. This is the v, uh, UHF version. It operates from 400 to 480 megahertz and you sharp ear v and the sharp eared viewers out there will no doubt note that GMRS and FRS frequencies fall within that range of 400 to 480 megahertz. But this radio is not FCC part 95 compliant. It is not a GMRS radio, even though it can talk on those frequencies, doing so would violate the FCC rules. It is IP67 rated, which makes it basically fully waterproof at uh, a few feet of water for up to 30 minutes. Don't quote me. It is something in that range. It is drop resistant from up to six feet. So it's very durable, very tough. It is repeater capable and it does do split tones. It has a scrambling feature, which is really cool. It is not encryption, it is scrambling so that when you're talking to another person, the other, your friend in an emergency situation, talking to the other person with the same radio, with the same scrambling settings, you can hear each other talk fine, but anybody listening would hear Donald Duck. They wouldn't easily be able to understand what you're saying, but it is not full encryption. I think it's called inversion scrambling. It's just a very simple, it sounds like sideband. If you've ever heard sideband on an old CB radio, that's what it sounds like. Right before I do the range tests, I'll show you what the voice scrambling sounds like. The 16 channels that it comes with are all preset, and it also comes with CTCSS codes on every channel. But because this is made to talk really from one radio to another radio, it comes with a set of two, it doesn't really matter that it comes pre-programmed with the tones because the other radio is also pre-programmed with those same tones. But you can change the preset channels to whatever frequency you wanna use using the software. You can remove the tones, you can put the other tones in, whatever you wanna do. You can also change the programming for the two buttons and change the scrambling settings. You can change basically everything but you need to use the programming software, which you can download free from the Redivis website, but you will need the optional programming cable, which does not come with the radio. So what all that means is, yes, you can take your two new radios out of the box, turn them on, put them on the same channel, and you can start talking to your friend in your emergency situation. First thing I'm gonna do is check the power output to make sure that Redivis isn't dicking us around. The box says it is a 10 watt handheld radio. So let's test that. No buttons, very simple interface. As you know, that's one of the things that I like about my radios is simplicity because I'm a very simple person. When you change the channel, you get this pleasant. Nine, eight, seven, 14. Very pleasant voice to tell you what channel you're on. So let's check the power. I'm using my new Surecom meter which should show up better on the screen, making for a better viewer experience than my old meter, 
which didn't show up as well on screen. So we're going to put this on right in the middle. Nine, ten, nine, eight. Going to put it right in the middle of the channels. That should put it roughly in the middle of the frequency range. I am using my 50 watt dummy load so as to not actually transmit out into the world. Yes, some RF electricities will come out through the dummy load, but the dummy load is intended for use without actually transmitting so that I don't violate any laws. I don't want the FCC black helicopters coming in to get me. So we will push the button. We will see the power output there. Nine point nine eight 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 six. It's dropping down the longer I hold it. So it is pretty much outputting exactly what Redivis claims it will output. So it does output a full 10 watts, 9.9 .9 watts. Although the longer I held the button, the transmit button, the power slowly began to drop off. But the real test of a radio is how far do it talk? Now, I don't have a ham license or the appropriate FCC commercial license. And this is not an emergency situation that would allow me to talk on any radio at my disposal. But because I'm just talking to my friend a couple of miles away, I don't think anybody will really notice. So let's see how this thing works. All right. QC, Q, hello, breaker, breaker. Can anybody hear me? Testing one, two, one, two. QC, QC. I was only joking. There's no antenna. It's not turned on. The battery isn't even in it. I was just joking. If you're so smart, how come you never get any of the jokes? Oh. So because I don't have the appropriate FCC ham license or FCC commercial license to actually transmit using this radio, I got my friend Sean, who is a happy ham, who is licensed and can legally transmit using one of these radios. So we did a couple of range tests. He also transmitted so I could record the uh, scrambler, the voice scrambler sound, so you could hear how that sounds. And he did identify himself every time he transmitted, as is required by the FCC, but I edited that out because YouTube does not require him to announce his call sign. So this is what the voice scrambler sounds like. All right, I kind of like this radio, uh, the scramble. <laughs> Other uh, individuals. As I mentioned previously, it is not encryption. It is a scrambler. I think it's simple what they call inversion scrambling. It makes it difficult for anybody listening to understand what you're saying. But anybody that knows what they're doing with another radio of this type, any radio that does the same sort of scrambling, and probably any myriad of other methods could easily descramble what you're saying. So this is not encryption. It just makes it difficult for anybody listening in to understand what you're saying. Now, normally when I test my little five watt GMRS radios, I do what I call my worst case scenario test and no radio, no handheld radio that I've ever tested has ever gone more than a mile and a half in my worst case test. But because this radio, the RT29 outputs double more than double the wattage of most of those radios. Not only will it talk farther and have a better range, it will have better penetration through the trees and the buildings. So I started the tests at about three miles. Sean, the licensed operator, was at his house. I drove away to pre-marked locations, called him on the phone, told him when to transmit so that I could record. So this is how it sounded at the various different mileage ranges. One, two, three. Four, five, 2.3 miles, two, three, four, five, testing radio at 5.1 miles, one, two, three, four, five, testing at 6.0 miles. Also, what's not on camera, because I wasn't there to record it, he was able to test it from the second floor of a building to a Black Bear Diner, which has great cheeseburgers, by the way. Black Bear Diner 
10.3 miles away. That was more line of sight, but 10.3 miles away, talking to the other radio, loud and clear. So these radios do work. You want them to transmit, they transmit, and they penetrate. So that is the quick overview. I try to keep it quick because I know your time is very valuable. Quick overview of the RT29 10-watt handheld walkie-talkie. Perfect for true SHTF situations or when you're out adventuring if you have the proper licensing. If you have any questions about the Redivus RT29 or comments, if you've used one, let us know how you like it. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below. I will do my best to answer if I'm not able to answer. Somebody else will come along and they will try. Bear in mind, it will probably be the wrong answer. Thank you for watching. And if you like to watch off-road videos, take a look at one or two of my off-road videos. I used to make off-road videos. Some people say the best off-roading videos on YouTube. You can watch one right there. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think.